from Sanjeevani Ginigadhar from Rajadatta University of Sri Lanka. Uh, now working for sustainable agricultural systems so where I'm working for a system of rice intensification as well. So when I'm talking about this rain in Sri Lanka, so it was introduced in year 2000 but it had a slow movement because of many reasons, maybe social, maybe biological, maybe technical, economical and so on and so forth. So then now the situation has been changed. People are really in need of organic sort of production. They like to consume organic products. They like to go for organic movement. So that now she is getting more and more popular among Sri Lankan farmers. The farmers really wants to learn the technology, really wants to learn the practices of Sri. And now the things are, I mean, in good movement in Sri Lanka, farmers are getting into the system. And it is uh, uh, things to be very happy in this, uh, as a, university lecturer as well as a real farmer who is working on the system of rice intensification. And uh, why would farmers want, uh, be interested in organic agriculture? These yeah, days? you know, now the, in case of health impacts, when I'm talking about is really bad in Sri Lanka, farmers are dying off because of some kidney failures, some chronic kidney failures with unknown reason. The, the people are doing research and telling that yes, the, one of the reasons for this unknown kidney failure is the high usage of fertilizers and other agrochemicals. So people are starting to believe that, the farmers are really starting to believe that, the consumers are also starting to believe that. So in that way, so the Sri is having a good movement in Sri Lanka right now as an organically grown rice production as well as environmentally and eco-friendly nature of farming okay thank you and what is your research about yeah i'm doing research now this this days um i'm doing a lot of research on three these days i'm doing on the you know uh, how the rice plant is performing and the alternative wetting grind and its absorption of arsenic so then how this alternative wetting and drying of rice and system of rice intensification can influence or how it is influencing for the arsenic intake of rice. That is my recent research which is funded by Cornell University of Sri Lanka and actually it's a multi-country research project where several other countries from the region as well as beyond the region are I mean, getting in connected. Okay, thank you. Thanks very much.